Amid rising tensions on the Korean peninsula, the South Korean Air Force, ROKF, recently conducted a series of high-profile live-fire drills featuring the Taurus KPD-350, a German-designed long-range missile. The exercises, which took place on October 8th and 10th over the Yellow Sea, have drawn significant international attention, especially from Ukraine, which has shown interest in acquiring similar capabilities to counter Russian forces. These missile tests come as South Korea seeks to bolster its defense capabilities in response to continued provocations from North Korea. By integrating the Taurus missile into its arsenal, South Korea is sending a clear message of deterrence, showcasing its readiness to defend itself against potential threats from Pyongyang. During the exercises, a Taurus missile was launched from an F 15K fighter jet traveling over 400 kilometers to strike its designated target. The ROKF shared video footage that captured the entire process, from the integration of the missile onto the aircraft to the launch and subsequent impact. These tests were part of a broader defense strategy designed to improve South Korea's ability to neutralize threats in real time, including intercepting hostile cruise missiles. The drills also involved South Korea's advanced fleet of F-15K and F-35A Lightning II jets, which performed simulated intercept scenarios. These operations were supported by the E-737 Early Warning and Control Aircraft, which played a key role by relaying real-time information to the Central Command. This capability to track fast-moving, low-altitude missiles is crucial for maintaining an effective defense posture particularly as North Korea continues to enhance its missile programs. The missile drills follow a series of actions from North Korea, including the release of propaganda balloons and the announcement of plans to reinforce its border defenses. These moves, alongside ongoing verbal threats and accusations, have prompted South Korea to reinforce its military readiness. This week's drills are reminiscent of similar missile tests conducted in 2017, which were held in response to North Korea's nuclear provocations. The Taurus KPD-350 missile, developed by Germany's MBDA and Saab Bofors Dynamics, is designed for deep strike missions against heavily fortified targets. With a range exceeding 500 kilometers, it enables South Korea to engage strategic facilities from a safe distance while the missile's advanced guidance systems, featuring GPS, inertial navigation, and terrain reference navigation, ensure high precision even in GPS-denied environments. This capability is critical for penetrating underground bunkers and other hardened targets that may house North Korean missiles or command centers. By integrating the Taurus missile into its F-15K Slam Eagle fleet, South Korea is enhancing its kill chain strategy, which focuses on neutralizing key North Korean military assets before they can be used in a conflict. This strategy emphasizes the importance of preemptive strikes against nuclear or conventional missile facilities, providing South Korea with a powerful tool for deterring North Korean aggression. Furthermore, South Korean defense firm LIG Nex One recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MAO with Taurus systems to adapt the KPD-350K missile for use on the F-A-50 light attack aircraft. This move would significantly expand South Korea's long-range strike capabilities, enabling a wider range of aircraft to deliver precision strikes at extended distances. In addition to the Taurus missile tests, South Korea conducted a series of interception exercises involving both KF-16 and F-35A fighter jets. These exercises, coordinated with the E-737 PSI surveillance aircraft, demonstrated South Korea's ability to detect and neutralize low-altitude cruise missiles. The E-737 aircraft, which can track thousands of targets simultaneously, plays a pivotal role in maintaining situational awareness and ensuring that missile threats are intercepted before they reach South Korean territory. The F-35A Lightning II, known for its stealth capabilities and advanced avionics, enhances South Korea's ability to operate effectively in contested airspace. Equipped with sensors that allow for early detection of enemy missiles, the F-35A provides a higher probability of intercepting threats,
particularly those traveling at low altitude and high speed. Meanwhile, the KF-16, an upgraded version of the American F-16, offers precise targeting with its advanced radar systems and AM-120 AMRAAM air-to-air missiles. These drills, which combine offensive and defensive exercises, highlight South Korea's preparedness to respond swiftly to any escalation from North Korea. By showcasing cutting-edge technology, such as the Taurus missile, and conducting comprehensive interception exercises, South Korea is reinforcing its defensive posture in a region where tensions remain high. With the ability to strike strategic facilities and intercept incoming missile threats, South Korea is better equipped than ever to protect itself against the ongoing provocations from Pyongyang. The Taurus missile's long-range precision capabilities give South Korea a critical technological advantage, further enhancing its deterrence against North Korea's missile and nuclear ambitions. In conclusion, South Korea's recent military exercises not only demonstrate its resolve to defend itself against North Korean threats, but also underscore its commitment to maintaining a robust and capable military force. By integrating advanced systems like the Taurus missile into its arsenal, South Korea is positioning itself as a formidable player in the region's security landscape, ready to respond to any escalation with precision and power.